To get hyped for the season, I just ended up watching for the first time the original Mugen Train episode at the beginning of season two. That was not a part of the movie and completely different. Let me just say, first off, I loved that episode. I loved, I gotta say loved, which makes me sad, Ren Goku. And it makes the part in that movie and or just the Mugen Train arc in general just... Uh, that just gets me so ready for the rest of this show. Demon Slayer is just something special. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Just like I said in the pre-intro, had to hype up my man Ren Goku. He was the best. I had to, I'm even wearing my Ren Goku shirt until I get like a Tangan Uzui one. You never know. I'm super excited about this arc. Set your heart ablaze. Super excited about what's going to happen. Season 2 was amazing. Before we get into anything, I do want to let you guys know, with the first and last episode, I'm counting this one as the first because we've already seen the movie. You know, that was, just, that was a special occasion. With the first and last episode of every season of every show we watch here on the channel, the full length version, which is normally available on Patreon for you guys is available for free so click the link in the top of the description check that out come back here for the review afterwards leave a like all that jazz check out that patreon in the future if you guys want to keep up that format with the rest of the season and the other shows i'm watching it's a really fun time it truthfully is i am super excited we end off the mugen train with unfor the unfortunate passing of one of the best characters in the show and with the news being gathered by the other Hashira, and I, I love the differences in the way they reacted to that news. <sighs> but I have no idea what's going to happen in here. I have a couple of friends who are a little bit ahead of me. Not in the manga, I'm just a few days late on this, as you guys I'm sure are well aware. They are loving season 2 so far, they are so excited. Tangan Uzui, the sound Hashira, Mr. Flamboyant himself. His swords look super sick, that's all I know about him. And I know a little bit of what Hashiras can do after seeing Giyu, Shinobu, and now Rengoku. I assume we're going to see another Upper Moon. I've been kind of ranting the, cat <laughs> the past couple of minutes. I kind of just want to hop into this. Um, so don't forget, like I said, follow all the social medias. Check out that Patreon. Check out all the plugs. Everything is in the description down for you below for you guys. Let's hop into this. I am very, very excited. Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, Season 2, Episode 1 or 8, depending on where you're looking at it from. Sound Hashira, Tengen, Uzui. Let's do this. Also, real quick before we start the episode, sorry for the interruption. I just want to let you guys know that Sony, aka or Aniplex, aka the people who produce and are behind Demon Slayer and a lot of other shows, are very heavy when it comes to copyright striking. So if you see any extra editing, any no audio, any extra transparency in certain parts, it's because I was forced to, guys. I don't want this channel getting deleted. I know if anyone, you guys are going to appreciate and respect that so i appreciate you for respecting that i say we hop into this let's do it <laughs> obviously he's crying too but i 100 percent agree with inosuke like these are one of those rare instances where ren goku himself he wouldn't want you to cry he would he legit would want you to keep going be as strong as you can and the crow did tell all the other Hashira. Even the crow was the Kasa... I forget what they're called. The Kasagiri crow was crying over Rengoku's death. So I'm assuming he's going to tell Senjiro, yeah. I just got goosebumps, man. Hearing about... Oh my god. I will, to the best of my ability, carry out Kyojiro's will. Demon Slayer loves to do these sort of setup shots. Show, not tell. Such a fine boy. Who is this, though? I don't know if that's someone... I don't think that's someone we've already met. I mean, that's what you want to hear. <laughs> that's not what you want to hear. But out of any parental figure, whether it be foster parents or adoptive parents you know you want to hear them talking good about their children like this can't go outside oh no he doesn't he is a demon who has been playing you guys this whole time it is muzan it's muzan he's pretending to be a little boy i mean Blue spider lily, okay. Akatsuki. 
官が走り出す。それを始末したから何だというのこの望みは自殺隊の。いや。一人残らず叩き殺して。It's crazy to me the power scaling in this show. Because you have the lower moons, because the moons are one through twelve, if I believe one twelve months of the year. The lower six are have been replaced multiple times. I'm I'm almost positive he killed every one of the last lower moons except for the Mugen train Enmu, I believe his name was. But the lower moons get replaced all the time. The upper moons, if I remember correctly, haven't been replaced in tens, if not hundreds, of years. Like if anyone's killing a Hashira. It's the upper moons, so just that power level distinction right there from what we dealt with to what we have to deal with, insane. And then we know how strong Akaza is because he is an upper moon. And then we cut over to Muzan, effortlessly putting this man in pressure, get you know like applying this pressure. And I I obviously believe even in terms of raw, if raw, of raw power, if Akaza was stronger than Muzan, Muzan could still do this because it's Muzan's blood that's powering them. But that's just so crazy to me how even like we can get characters like Akaza who we've seen handle Ren Goku who we've seen was, like it's just the power scaling in the show is insane, and he's handling Akaza like it's nothing. He's not wrong. The sun came out. He was playing with his food too much. Ooh, now he has a personal vendetta for making him look bad against Master Muzan against Tanjiro. And he destroyed his Nichiren sword. This is the second sword Tanjiro's lost. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. I wasn't expecting to see Muzan so early. I love that Shinobu's apprentices and students all have like butterfly accessories. <laughs> and you got Zenetsu stealing. Oh, Tanjiro's missing. That's what a lot of people in his situation do. They can't sit around and do nothing. You know, they have to do something. And grief is a crazy thing on people. Very hard to deal with. Ah, he did need to tell Senjiro to follow his heart to do what he believes is right. That was one of Rengoku's final wishes. So I, I firmly agree with his decision, even with his injuries to do this. I would probably do the same. Speak of the devil. Mm. Damn. So heartless. I know there's some. I know there's something a lot deeper there. Has to be. Sun breathing technique. Instead of is that the Hinokami Kagura? Was he able to tell he's a wielder of the sun breathing technique because of the Hanafuda earrings that Muzan said he didn't like from Tanjiro? I mean, I don't know necessarily what the Hanafuda earrings entail, but it looks to be a sun on there. So could that be a? And we got he got those from his father, right? Now. Rengoku's dad is a former Hashira, if I remember correctly. So this, I don't think this will end good if you truly tried to fight him. Yeah, yes, it is. It was in the book. Yeah, I'm excited. The first breathing technique ever created. Really, sun breathing's the OG. Yeah, I don't know if. Tanjiro knows that he's an ex Hashira. Yes. This man. Oh, nothing's stronger than a Tanjiro headbutt. That man's got head like titanium. They were brave, courageous, beautiful to watch. It's a good word, valiant, right up until the end. Record of the first 20 flame, the 21st flame, Hashira. Damn, I wonder why he did that. 
I agree. It's exactly what he wanted. He literally said, don't let the young buds get nipped. You know, you guys must grow, train, get stronger, and become the Hashira of the next generation. Oh, his uh, apprentice. Suguko. I had no idea that's what it's called. I've never seen that. Is it because you weren't meant to be a demon slayer? Is that what happens? Oh, so you need a prerequisite in order. I didn't know that at all. Interesting. Honestly, I think that's for the best. Like, not that you're bad or anything, but do what you were meant to do. You know, follow your heart. I could see why we'd have social pressure to do that, though. Hell yeah, I love that. I also don't think it's a good idea, but just just the promise, the thought that counts. <laughs> Already Senjiro is a dope-ass character. Shouts out to the Rengoku family. I'm sure we'll like the dad one day. He's kind of like a Endeavor right now for me. Like, he probably went through a lot, you know? So, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt right now. It's literally my favorite part about his sword. Again, man, shout out to the Rengoku family. Is he gonna stand up for himself a little bit and say it anyway? Mm, I can't really blame him, you know. Like, these family situations are very hard. It wasn't any grapes. He truthfully only loved his family. See, I think he he does care a lot. I think he's drowning his sorrows in sake. Alcoholism, obviously, but grief is very hard and is very different for a lot of people. That's why I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, obviously he's a hard ass, but he he definitely cares. Man, I can already tell you this season, this show is gonna be fucking incredible. It's the Nichiren Maker. That is animated so funny. It's already been four months? Oh my god, my bros are looking... Why are they looking so brawlic? I wonder if at some point we are going to use the Rengoku's Nichirin Flame Sword Guard. I can understand why we're not using it yet, because we don't feel ready. We don't feel ready to accept, like, his blessing. Kind of like Ida with his brother and my hero. But I, f I hope one day we feel ready enough to use that on the sword, because I would love Tanjiro to use it. Ooh, there it is. That was actually really cool the way they did that. It was, like, as, like, a, pretending to be a statue. Okay, I love that. Runs up the pole, Nezuko comes right out on the back. First time seeing her in action this season. Ooh. Are we gonna see the thread? It's the first time we've seen the thread in a long time. Ooh. Cut off all the limbs, right back to the head. Beautifully handled. Striking tide. I've seen this meme posted a couple where he's about to slap her ass. I do know that. Hashira coin. Or you're thinking of what to do in this situation? Because what do you do? So. Doesn't matter who you are. If you're a Hashira, the leader of the Demon Slayer Corps, the strongest demon in the world, you mess with Tanjiro's friends, he's going to scream at you. Ooh, no hesitation either. With the headbutt instantly? Oh, and he's gone. That's just how quick he is. Former Shinobi. That's what I respect. But he did specifically say he needed females, so I don't know how you, Zenitsu, and Inosuke are gonna work. Oh, Zenitsu with that fucking transition, and Inosuke on the other side, that was so sick. With the fucking leaves falling in the background, come on. I can't lie though, I know he's gonna be powerful as shit. He's all about the flamboyancy. He is brolic. 
and his sword look swords look badass, so I am very excited. Ooh, where demons reside. Well, this episode, amazing, fantastic setup and start of this arc and getting us into the next phase of Demon Slayer. I love the length, how it could be like technically two episodes. This first episode, the first part was the not recap, but ending phase of the Rengoku Mugen Train arc, whereas the, the second half of this episode was the beginning of the next arc. So super cool. Love the time skip. I love the beginning, how we had to immediately deal with the aftermath of Rengoku's death. We went and saw Senjiro. Senjiro, amazing. Love him to death. His, his dad, Rengoku's dad, obviously has some personal issues. I need to know where that started though. I need to know why he retired. Why did he read that book all the time and decide to tear it up? Because Rengoku mentioned that his father is the one that has this book and he reads it quite frequently. And Rengoku's never read it, so he didn't know what was in it. So that's why he sent Tanjiro to his house also to say his final message, though. Which I'm very glad Senjuro, Senjuro said his message to his dad. He truthfully needed to hear it and his dad got some grief, you know, and was going through it a little bit. I, I'm curious how... Uh, Rengoku's dad learned about the sun breathing technique and why he feels so inferior to it even though like even if that was the original breathing technique and everything is derivative from that that doesn't necessarily mean everything is horrible like if that were the case every Hashiro would be a Walmart version of sun breathing like he said but I'm very curious why he said that you're decided how powerful you are the day you're born you either are born with talent or none and I can understand that if he treated Senjuro bad, but treated Rengoku well. Like, Rengoku's one of these special children, Senjuro's not. But he says they're both not. Like, he says Rengoku also isn't talented, which, coming from us and coming from a Tanjiro perspective, that's just the furthest thing from the truth. But, as a former Hashira himself, Rengoku's dad has technically a better say in this, but obviously he's still wrong. I'm so curious why he thinks that. That's what I'm curious about. I'm very curious why Akaza is looking for the blue spider lily as Muzan was having him look for. Very curious why Muzan is hiding as a child, an adopted child of a family where he has another family that he's the parent. Like this man just has 47 families. This is crazy. He's very upset with Akaza for not killing Tanjiro and the rest of them, which now he has a personal vendetta against Tanjiro. That's never good. You never want an upper three to have a vendetta against you. Um, I love that we got Rengoku's Nichirin flame guard. I will hope one day we use it kind of like I said with Ida and his brother and my hero. Like he doesn't feel ready to accept it right now, but when he does finally feel ready, he will accept it and go full out balls deep in there. And then we have Tengen coming out of nowhere to deal with the demons and the entertainment district arc. So it makes sense why he would need a female companion in that area to know the layout of the land to know what and what not to do with men clients we shall say but we got him going with our three and said and i like how they set it up to where like yeah we know him from the hashira meeting last season but we're not on good terms with him like this is going to be where like our relationship with him is starting fresh clean slate can go horribly bad amazingly well i have no idea i am very excited I can tell you the animation, the shots, cinematography, characters, fights are going to be immaculate this season. Immaculate. And I'm so excited for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like always, I appreciate y'all immensely. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. I'll see you guys in this next week in this next episode. Peace.